Well, it's September the 1st and the first of the month. I always write a guitar study. So, uh, all right, let's start off. I'm, I'm kind of... I'm kind of digging that, so... And as you know, I kind of... Uh, It's kind of nice. I'll, I'll just kind of go with that for a little bit. All right. So I'm already kind of hearing the sequence in my head. Walk that down, walk that down. Okay. And a lot of times you, you don't know where you're going, to, you're going to go, which is kind of the kind of the fun part of this, you know. It is fun. Try all this stuff. That's kind of nice. They kind of changed it up instead of just being back and forth. That's interesting. Um, and again, like what I talk about is that I don't fight whatever I'm hearing. I just let it come out. Sorry for the funny sounds. I'm not quite sure why, but we'll just look at that. And it's funny how this sometimes just hits you all at once you, when you start to compose. I think in a lot of ways, um, the reason why this is easy for me is just because 
because I write all the time, compose music all the time. And sometimes you don't know where you're going to go. And that's okay. Kind of get back to that G area. Kind of interesting. You know, let's see where this is gonna go. I want to go up. And, uh, typically, octaves kind of are dead. I, you know, I think that's it. Uh, I was trying to keep it like this, kind of jumping around a little bit, uh, but. Didn't work out that way, so that's okay. Only two A's there. And once again, this is a, a, a program that doesn't really exist that much anymore. Um, I was supposedly, in the year 2000, they were going to redesign it uh, with one of the people that actually wrote this original software back in the 80s, 90s, um, and uh, kind of turned out to be vaporware. But I think it just shows how hard sometimes it is to convert stuff from 32-bit to 64-bit, and it just takes a lot of time. So hopefully they are actually working on it. And for guitar, actually, I, you know, I wrote a symphony using this software, so it will do everything I need it to do, even in its current state. I'm just using a uh, I'm using a MacBook Air from 2011. Uh, it would it will actually work on a new like probably computer all the way up to like even like 2020, but uh, it won't work on the new um, Silicon uh, Apple. It works on PC though. Okay. A little bit of that that motion there. <laughs> I 
you know, even even this uh, that a little bit, I think it's a harder to play. Uh, but it gives it this a little bit more motion. So I'm just change this up. I, I, you know, if you've been watching this for the last few months, usually I don't do this, uh, but sometimes you're you when you hear it. So what I'm hearing is, is walking it up. Okay. And ultimately, if it makes it better, then it's worth it. Nobody wants to hear a boring piece just because I got it, just because you got it done. It's fun to be able to do this, be able to like, okay, you know, that, that's where we're going. All right, let's go there. I have another, well, I have a, several computers that can use this piece of software, but for some reason, I just kind of enjoy using the Mac Air. When I'm using uh, Zoom, up this a little bit so I kind of think that's kind of cool not really cool but interesting makes makes me makes me have to work a little harder Better, but there's one part here. You know, I could just do that, but I kind of like going into that too, um, move, moving it, make it faster.
All right, we'll just do that. Yeah. Again, thinking about the line. Don't write boring music, right? So, all right, one more time. Let me see. that moves it all the way up there. Because you're seeing melody lines. Not bad, not bad. Impressed by myself. It's kind of fun. All right. So as you know, this is the A section I'm gonna use throughout the rest of the piece. And that's one reason why it's good to spend a lot of time on that A section because I am gonna hear it a lot uh, when performing this piece. So my system is, I have it three times. What I like about this program is you can highlight stuff and make it move up and down. So. All right, there we go. Is that a work? Okay, so let's write a B section. So I got, I'm jumping around a lot. Sometimes I, when I went big, I like to go smaller. So kind of intuitively, I kind of feel that that is this. Thank you. 
Yeah, and this is where right now that there's a lot of uh, uh, have one little delay through through off that uh, scheme there. You want to go to G there, but then it's over, and that's not good. Don't want to go backwards either. I'll live with that. And this is where a counterpoint comes in because you're implying chords and notes and things like that. I remember back in 1994, it was the first time I had a computer, a Mac computer. I think it was a Mac, um, oh, what was it? Was it a Performer, Performa? I, anyways, it was the first Mac that actually could hang with how fast I could play a note, a note into a keyboard and without a delay. And this is almost how fast it appeared. Oh, was it a performer? 140 pops my mind. Uh, it, was a, it was a G3 processor. And uh, that was a lot faster than the Motorola chips that we had used earlier. And I bet you it might have been 16 megs of RAM or something like that. Some really small uh, amount. Amazing how the times have changed. And one thing I like about this piece of software is that it's so intuitive about how to move things around. You don't have to go hit a special buttons to go move a staff, uh, like in Finale and Spellius and other ones like that. It, it should just be press something and it works. You'd think that you'd want that. You'd be wrong, though. All right. Thank you. 
All right, so now let's go. I the C-section part. And so we kind of went small, big, small. And so we can do some contrasting maybe. No, I think that can work. This is kind of like more flowing. I kind of like doing this, uh, changing this one note at a time. This is not kind of cool. Break the rule. I'll change two. Just because it sounds better. Every once in a while, though, it, it's kind of cool just to you know, just keep on with that paradigm there. And one important thing about composition for me is always fun. It's a challenge, but I enjoy it. And if you're not enjoying it, you know what's the what's the point? creating most people I know they compose and uh, enjoy it uh, for I'm sure for some people it, it can be really challenging to look at a blank piece of page paper manuscript paper and create something and probably one of the, my one of the best things one of my friends said about me was that I'm just bold I'm well. I'm willing to go dive in there and try it out, and and uh, also not afraid to fail. And I think a lot of folks are really afraid to fail on various things because don't know why. But have that tension and release. And one thing I always find amazing as well with all the notes we have here that, you know, really you know, come up with the same melody more than once. And that's kind of always been fascinating to me. piece here I'm really walking in between E and F sharp and G which is cool nothing wrong with that at all it's interesting when you hear the computer play it back how different it sounds And the beautiful, the reason why working on guitar, um, I want to mean is uh, being able to play this on guitar.
is because it works well with these certain chords. Um, and the triad has three notes in it. And you can share notes between, like we're in a key of G here. So E minor is real close to G major, except for uh, instead of a D, you have an E. And vice versa, E minor is real close to, to G, it's just you know, instead of a and neither you have a D. So to me, that's always been fascinating to me. All right, let's see how this works. So we've got a G chord here. Kind of a G, uh, E7, um, E minor 7. Going to like a, going to a D7 chord here actually. Passing tone there. Back to the E minor there. Passing tone to the E minor chord, the G major seven. So, you know, kind of interesting. And as you know, if you've been watching this, I really enjoy um, on this part um, doing some free stuff a little bit. Kind of slow things down just a little bit. Thought it'd be faster to just do that in here, but apparently not. All right, there it is. 
pretty cool. If I say so myself. How nice to have a whole piece. So let's go through and play through it. Yeah, this today the computer is actually really kind of slow, but that's all right. We'll just have to jump up and down a little bit, and that's okay. It's a good computer. All right, the first part I gotta like use this weird fingering because I gotta go down to F sharp and still play that. Uh, Well, there it is. So uh, I'm actually quite happy with that. So thank you so much for uh, listening and watching me compose this piece from uh, from nothing to uh, something. Um, it's always a cool challenge to go through and write a piece of music, and um, I I enjoy it a lot. So thanks again for watching. I hope you uh, learned some stuff about writing for guitar. And uh, guitar is one of these instruments you almost kind of got to play to be able to write for it, or at least really can see the fingerings if you don't play the guitar so anyways thanks again and uh if you like this type of amazing content please make sure you uh, share and subscribe uh, and tell everybody about this Beauty.